What's going on everybody, Respawn Gentleman here. So today I'm gonna to show you an absolutely insane glitch that should let you be completely invincible in the game. Let's get right to it. So first off, I do wanna say that this has been going around my Discord channel. I've had about five or six different people mention this to me. Um, so I definitely wanted to bring this video to you. Also, this can only be done in co-op. You cannot do this uh, in single player and it cannot transfer over to your single player game. Period. I have tested that. It is just not possible, unfortunately. If you don't co play co-op, then uh, it's not going to be super helpful for you. But I'm actually recording this with JKM. He's helping me out on this video. And uh, the only things that you need to have is you need to have about anywhere from two to six military med kits. Now, I've tried this with regular med kits, and they don't seem to quite work because you need it to fully heal your character in order for it to happen. So let's dive right into it. All right, so all you need to do is you need to find a zombie and you need to have your friend get grabbed by that zombie. As soon as they do, start healing them with the military med kits. Now this may take a few tries, but you want to keep healing them until you see their health bar go down and then back up without, you know, anything needing to be done. So if there's three here, and then there's two, another one. And actually, there we go. You can kind of see he's still taking damage and it immediately goes back up. Now, once that happens with your friend, you need to get grabbed by the zombie and have them do the same to you. You want to make sure that you're not actually pressing the escape button. You want to just sit there and keep healing until um, their, your friend tells you that it's working. So now, once your friend has confirmed that you've actually gotten the same kind of situation, just go find some zombies and let them hit you. Take this guy. Look at this. Taking absolutely zero damage from these zombies. It is insane. Neither of you take any damage whatsoever. You can be grabbed. Um, you can be set on fire. You, it's just absolutely insane. Now, I will say that you can still die if a volatile or a volatile tyrant grabs a hold of you and you don't break off of them. Um, that will still kill you. Uh, but it does not remove the invincibility effect. You'll just respawn back at the closest safe house. And then the same thing with uh, fall damage, which I'll go ahead and show right now to you. Hey everybody, Editor Respawn here. So one thing I forgot to mention when initially recording this video is that um, the way to remove the invulnerability from your character is you have to either sleep, drop out of co-op, or quit the game. Any of those options will remove the invulnerability. It only happens while you're playing uh, with a friend online. That's the only way to do it. So, back to the video. So here you can see I'm on the VNC tower, the very, very top. I'll show you on the map real quick. There I am, very top of the VNC tower. And I'm just going to show you that this is just insane. It negates all fall damage. I am going to fall and completely break myself, but I will get up and be perfectly fine. Looks like I die. No, get right back up. It is insane. It doesn't even take away any of your lives either. It just just keep on going. You can survive anything. Even if you fall through the map, it'll actually just teleport you back to uh, the nearest safe house as well. So another absolutely amazing thing about this is that chemicals no longer affect you. So you do see the timer going down, but here's the fun thing. It doesn't actually take down your health. So we'll stand right here in the chemicals, we'll let it go down, and you'll see that my immunity will hit zero, but my health is not dropping like it's supposed to. Uh, you'll still have kind of like this effect and it's a infection progressing on the screen, but in complete honesty, nope no effect whatsoever so you can explore everywhere in the entire game until you get a leaving mission area screen if you get one of those messages popping up on the screen and it gives you four seconds uh there's no way around those unfortunately but anywhere where you don't have that you can run around and explore if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more dying light content make sure to like and subscribe thanks for watching see you guys next time